In this video, we're going to start getting our install ready. Well, the first thing we're going to do is install the virtual machine in VirtualBox that we just downloaded. So double click here. And we're going to run. Okay, so we'll go through here. Okay, just telling you, if you put the network interface on, it's going to disconnect you. I'm going to tell it yes and go ahead. Not that you really need that piece, but I'm installing the whole virtual box on here. So we'll let it go. We'll just finish the install here. Okay, we're installed, so we're going to let it run now. Okay, so this is the main control panel here. It shows us the virtual machines that we have created. So there aren't any now, we need to make a new virtual machine. Let's give this one a name. I'm just gonna call it Win8. The type, okay, this is gonna be Microsoft Windows because that's what we're using here and we're going to want Windows 8. Click Next. Now here you can tell it how much memory you want the virtual machine to use. Uh, you need at least 1024 megabytes to run Windows 8 so make sure that you have at least 1024 megabytes selected here and that's all I'm going to use in this case but you can use more if you have more memory. Now here's where we set the size of our hard drive. It says here the recommended size is 25 gigabytes. So now we create a virtual hard drive now. Okay, so we want the VDI, which is the default here. Click Next. Now here you can choose how the disk is created and we're gonna want a fixed size for better performance. Click Next. Okay, and then we're at 25 gigs here. Let's just create now. And this will chug through and it's going to create the virtual space and the virtual machine for us. Okay, and now we're all done. You'll see that our Win8 virtual machine is over here. And then on the right, you see the information about our virtual drive. Okay, I'll expand this a bit. Now we need to go into settings and check a couple things. First, we need to go into, well, let's let this load here. Let's go into system and motherboard. And then we need to make sure that enable IO APIC is checked. And that's the default, so it should be. But if it isn't, make sure you check it. Now next we need to go to processor and make sure enable PAE slash NX is enabled and it is. Now we need to go to display and enable 2D video acceleration. Okay, click OK. And now our virtual machine is ready to go.